Hi, this is Akmir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Wednesday, the 15th of July. Starting off with Block Energy, where we've got a potential rising trend channel here from April, uh, based at the 50 day moving average, uh, currently around two and a quarter pence. And uh, while we're above that and the support line from April, uh, looking for a top of channel target as high as the 200 day moving average at 3.65. Uh, time frame on that hopefully as soon as uh, the end of next month and uh, really hoping and looking for the stock uh, to close above the 20 day moving average and that uh, line of resistance uh, from June uh, just around the 2.3 pence level just to uh, give us uh, confidence uh, that the stock is finally on its way after that extended basing. One of the uh, sort of quieter rises of the recent past uh, is has been um, Empire Metals. We had that flurry uh, earlier in the week, up towards four and a half pence. Uh, uh, but the current situation, though, is we're trying to break back above or hold back above uh, the three point five, three point seven pence area, uh, the top of the old channel uh, from February. Uh, end of day close above three point seven today uh, could be the sign or a signal uh, that the shares are ready to hit that February resistance line projection up to six pence over the next few weeks. Stop loss at this stage, I suppose, uh, back below 2.5 is about the best we can really say. We had that low 2.8 yesterday, so 2.5 uh, uh, former resistance is, as I said, about the best we can do at uh, this stage. Uh, looking at um, Eurasia mining at the moment, um, I've heard that um, some TR1s might appear later in the day. But uh, in the meantime, we've got uh, the shares consolidating uh, two inside days so far uh, this week versus Monday. And uh, previously, I said that a break of 15 pence could lead to 25 pence. I suppose that's still uh, on the cards or it's still in play in terms of a scenario. Uh, the good news, though, over the last couple of sessions, though, is that support has come in um, at and above uh, the old 15 pence, uh, the initial uh, post-suspension uh, return peak at 15 pence. Uh, so that is a, a positive technical sign. So still sticking with that uh, above 15 looking for 25 uh, pence uh, target. RSI cooled off a little bit, uh, but still in the 90s. Uh, going on to a, a gold play, which has done uh, rather well of late. A uh, golden prospect uh, looks like uh, we're going to hit the previous target at the top of a uh, late 2019 trend channel at 13 pence uh, any day now. Uh, end of day close above that resistance line uh, from August last year. Uh, at 13 pence could be enough to uh, give Golden Prospect a new leg to the upside and for it to hit uh, that uh, trend channel, a uh, trend line there rather from uh, last summer, currently pointing at a target as high as 22 pence. Uh, end of day or a weekly close back below uh, 10 pence is probably the best money management point at the moment. Uh, Illica is one of those stocks which uh, has sort of flown higher without, uh, well, d d in a rather stealth like fashion. Uh, current situation is that we're uh, pushing into new higher territory uh, at a rate of knots. Uh, the top of the rising trend channel from November currently pointing as high as £1.25. And uh, that's the target that we expect as soon as the end of the next month, uh, especially while we hold above uh, uh, the uh, 70 pence level. Stop loss back just back below the uh, 70 pence uh, zone would probably uh, do the trick uh, over the near term. Mobile Streams, a stock which seems to have a lot of following on Twitter and elsewhere. Um, still a bit stuck at the bottom of this rising trend channel from April around uh, the 200-day moving average area, 0.22 pence. Uh, while we are building in that area, one would say that uh, the stock is in potential recovery mode, although probably the easiest thing uh, here now is to wait for an end-of-day close above the 50-day moving average. That's uh, currently uh, uh, drifting off at 0.28 pence, so end-of-day close above that. Uh, would then hopefully give us uh, the eventual target here uh, as high as 0 0.6 while we hold above 0 0.2 pence. If you're ultra cautious, cautious uh, you'd wait on uh, a break of uh, the initial July resistance at 0 0.33 pence uh, on an end of day close basis before uh, potentially pressing the buy button. Uh, as I said, uh, opportunities or new opportunities today are rather surprising. The, uh, Thin on the ground. Uh, here we've got OPG Power Ventures, which probably on another day wouldn't make the grade, but uh, we've broken uh, the top of this um, falling wedge uh, at 11p today. Sorry, at 10.1p uh, today. 
And uh, while at least while we hold above the 10 pence area, looking for a uh, March resistance line projection target as high as 15 pence uh, over the next uh, month or six weeks. Let's see if that uh, happens. There was a sort of volume spike uh, a few days ago, so maybe that was uh, the sign of people getting into the stock. Uh, another stock which might not have made the grade um, if it had uh, not been such a quiet day is uh, Sp uh, Stobart Group. Uh, here you can see that uh, the shares just uh, nudging the uh, top of that uh, falling wedge at 32 pence uh, from May, uh, potentially uh, suggesting that we're going to have a, uh, a push to the upside. Um, looking for, I suppose, in terms of the target up towards the top of a, uh, a broadening tri April triangle at uh, 77 pence, which looks like pie in the sky at the moment, but uh, uh, that's that's the way we are. Um, and uh, end of day close above that uh, resistance line from June and to uh, above the wedge at 32 pence plus over the next few days could be the sign that at least initially we head towards the 50-day uh, moving average at 40 pence. Uh, that's for those who don't quite believe the uh, big target there at 77 pence. Uh, lots of um, uh, noise and uh, excitement regarding uh, Trafalgar uh, property. Here, uh, we had uh, the uh, spike up to 0.3 uh, at the beginning of the week, came back to 0.15 uh, twice now. So uh, uh, held the gap uh, higher through the 200-day moving average, gap higher, gaps higher through the 200-day line, very strong uh, technical signals. Uh, and the view at the moment is that at least while we're above uh, the uh, uh, old June peak at 0.2 pence on an end-of-day close basis, we're looking for further significant gains. Uh, 0.35 pence was a, an old target that I came up with uh, previously, but uh, the big picture target here could be as high as 0.5 pence. Uh, and obviously, if you're cautious, maybe you'd wait for uh, the 0.3 pence uh, peak to be broken uh, before uh, pressing the buy button there, but uh, certainly looking uh, constructive while we hold above uh, 0.2 pence. Um, if you want to risk down to 0.15, obviously, uh, that is a possibility too. One of the most uh, difficult stocks to get a handle on uh, near term is um, Tomco Energy, which is uh, one of the reasons it's uh, included here on a relatively regular basis. Uh, complete mess in terms of the range between, let's say, 0.5 and uh, a penny uh, for the shares. We're currently right in the middle of that range. But uh, uh, interesting to see today we've got a sort of outside uh, candle, outside bar. Uh, probably the best thing to do here is uh, use the 50-day line at 0.65 pence as an end of day close stop loss as we look for a retest of the one pence plus area um, of uh, the last week. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.